Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and today I want to share with you another pencil haul that I got from CW Pencil Enterprise. This is a new vendor that I am shopping from and I am super pleased with the product so far even though we've only just used them and I am super excited to show you this second shipment that I just recently received. So I'm not going to go through these in quite as much detail as I did with my previous haul. So if you want to see some more details, that link for that video is down in the description box below. So we kind of tried out uh, several pencils in the previous, uh, our, our first shipment from CW Pencil, Pencil Enterprise, and there were a number of pencils that I really liked. And in general, I like the darker pencil that... Um, that's easy to write with, that's kind of soft. But I found that once my children started using that in their lesson books, uh, it smudged a little bit too much. So some of these are going to be, again, uh, pencils that we can sample from and see ones that we're really going to like and and have be our pencil, like the pencil that we go for uh, for most of our needs. But then I also found that my daughter, especially who is nine, is really enjoying doing a lot of pencil drawings. And so some of these pencils are going to really suit her uh, artistic needs as well. Okay, so uh, I, we got a lot this time around and I'm going to try to share with you the different materials that we got. However, our invoice doesn't show the price, so you will have to check the website for current prices on the things that we got. There were a couple of things that we really loved the first time that we got again, and uh, in our first shipment, we didn't receive any erasers, and so I made sure that we put those on our um in our cart this time around because I think that either they weren't released or they were out of stock when we got them. So I was really excited to try uh, their erasers. I also went ahead and got a dozen of these ones. This is the black wing pencil and this is with just the all natural barrel. Uh, this is the Palomino Black Wing Natural. And my children actually don't mind this shaped eraser, but I wasn't super crazy about it. But it doesn't, it doesn't really matter in the end. They're going to be using these pencils for just their everyday, uh, school needs. And once this eraser, um, is finished, they can, I, I can't remember if these are replaceable, but we also got some other erasers. And so we can just top those or, uh, just use a different eraser. But anyway, uh, the thing is, is that I kind of like the all natural barrel and this is what prompted us to start looking for our, our new go-to pencil because the ones that we had purchased in bulk a good 10 years ago, we finally used them all up. And so I went ahead and I ordered a dozen of these. And if we super love these after we've gone through several pencils, then I'm going to go ahead and just bulk order these and just have them on hand all the time. There was one pencil that I was kind of unsure about in our last uh, haul, and that was the scented pencils. And we bought three sets, uh, different scents. And I think that there are about six or seven different uh, sets to choose from. Those we ended up loving so, so much because the scent is subtle yet definitely present, even to the point where if you sit down at our, when we sit down at a school table and we have our pencils in a jar, you can actually smell the pencils, this light floral scent. It's so, so nice. My only regret for those pencils is it doesn't it does not come with an eraser. So we did buy erasers and I thought we could just top those uh okay, I don't see them in here. Top all of those oh maybe they're in here. Pencils with those erasers and that way those can also be our go-to uh pencils. Okay. Ooh that looks exciting. Okay, actually, <laughs> let's do this a little bit more systematically so that we can get through everything uh, in a timely fashion. Okay, so nothing else in the box. The first thing I actually want to show you is not a pencil or pencil set. 
Uh, they are these blank notebooks and we got a set of three of them and I found them to be really well priced. Actually, a lot of the pencils on this site are really well priced, especially if you're just buying one or two at a time. They're like really affordable. But if you're just going to start buying them in bulk, it will add up pretty quickly. But this set, I believe, was $15 for three notebooks. So I find that that, that turned out to be like a really good price per notebook. Oh, that's so beautiful. That is so beautiful. The paper seems a little bit on the thinner side and uh, you get quite a few sheets and I think this is going to be really great for my children for uh, sketching, especially if they wanted to do any nature journaling. And plus it comes with like a lot of pages. Uh, so it's and it's a really nice size and I love the color. It's a really beautiful uh, gray and it has like the yellow stitching on the side. It's a really nice, nice notebook. Just and I actually really prefer the blank pages. And I know that it's sometimes difficult for adults, especially and sometimes children, to write on blank pages. Usually they're used for drawing, but I actually really prefer writing on blank pages rather than on line pages then you can choose the size of your font <laughs> without having to be forced into the lines that are provided for you in a lined or uh, lined notebook. That's just a personal preference. Okay, so uh, I can't wait for the children to try those out. Let me show you the pencils that we got. We got a number of sets again. So we got three sets this time around. Last time we got two, uh, we got the sketch uh Draw, um, sketchbook set and the crossword puzzle set. This time we got notes and notating set. Sometimes you need more than just graphite. For bullet journaling, letter writing, or editing, these pencils add color and keep you organized. Ooh, they add color. Hmm, curious. A uh, deep cut sampler set for the adventurous graphite user. These under the radar pencils are the perfect addition to any pencil collection or tasteful way to start one. And then lefty pencil, uh, lefty pencils sampler set. Um, he, this one kind of caught my eye because uh, we don't have any left handers in our family. And so uh, I, I at first I was curious about this, but uh, it is for smudge resistant and precise. Oh, smudge resistant and precise. These pencils are lefty's dream team, uh, plus an eraser just in case. So I'm thinking, well, what I'm hoping rather is that these pencils are going to be uh, dark, but they won't smudge. Cause that's like my ideal pencil is something that's going to have a nice dark, uh, darker than a number two, but not as smudgy as a softer pencil. So let's go ahead and open these ones up and let's take a look at what comes in these sets. So they come in these really nice envelopes that have the clear front and then it has like what the set is. And the last time I was able to open these and kind of preserve the stickiness so that I could store them back in these envelopes if we wanted to, but I found that it wasn't really user friendly to store them in the envelopes. So I put all of our pencils into like a little pencil cup on our school table. So they're kind of all mixed up, but that's okay. Uh, they, all the pencils are labeled anyway. So as we use them, we'll definitely be able to reorder the ones that we love. Okay, so, oh, and it comes with an eraser that I actually bought. This is by Tombow. I actually really like this brand. We use their products in uh, the rest of our homeschool and in crafting. And uh, what what is super cool about this is that it comes with this little insert that tells you all the different pencils, a little bit about them and how uh, or you, you can actually write with them and kind of test them out. And... I am going to super resist doing that this time around only because a lot of information is already provided on the website and I did this the last time with our haul. So I am going to let all of you just explore these pencils on your own and fall in love with the ones that you just find to be just the perfect pencil, the go-to pencil for you. But I am going to just share with you that uh, in this set you get what's really cool about all of the pencils that are carried by CW Pencil Enterprises that they come from all over the world, which I really love because uh, each each location is going to have something unique for them. Uh, you know, the kind of pencil that that is 
I guess, uh, favored in that, in that place. And what I learned the last time we had, um, last time we ordered is that the, in Pakistan in particular, the scented pencil was the pencil. And even though they don't make them scented anymore, you can still ask for a scented pencil, pencil and they'll know that the pencil that you want, the high quality pencil from a particular manufacturer that you want. And I thought that was kind of a neat little historical uh, hint on some of these pencils and where they're from and how they originated and whatnot. Okay, so you're going to get another one from Pakistan here. This is the Autocrat, and it was actually kind of interesting about the, the name. I can't remember if I read it on the website or the previous time uh, we got our pencils, but I, I believe that that was uh, a typo and then it just kind of stuck with the pencil. Uh, founded in 1953, uh, sh uh, Chassons? Chassons? Hmm. Well, okay. Prints all their pencils in the left-handed direction appropriately. Their pencils don't smudge. So let's go ahead and find that one. And I will just try out all the ones that are already pre-sharpened. There we go. Ooh, that's lovely. That's nice and smooth and dark. Okay, next up we have the Quran or Karen Dash. I I actually don't know how to pronounce most of these ones. I apologize. Uh, one step harder than an HB, but just as smooth. This Swiss standard is crisp and clean. So let's find that one. And am I missing it somewhere? Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, and no, no eraser, but that's okay. Oh, yeah. This one's too hard for me, but still, like, you know, it's nice. Uh, the Tombow Mono 100. Um, that's an HB. You know what I'll do, actually? Oh. This one too. Um, I'll go. I'll I'll run and sharpen these ones. Uh, I'll pre-sharpen the ones that aren't, and then that way we can just like test them all out. Uh, this one is made in Portugal, and it is uh, extra firm core, and it's smudge proof. Oh, that's actually kind of nice. It's hard, but dark. That's kind of cool. Hmm. That's kind of neat. And this one is from Denmark. The Viking. Oh, that's kind of nice too. That's also uh, quite uh, hard, but also dark. So you can see like it, as far, this one definitely was a lot harder and lighter, but this one, this one's kind of cool. I like this one. So the elegant European pencil writes well, sharpens beautifully, and the graphite doesn't budge. Cool. All right, let me go ahead and pre-sharpen all the rest of them because it's just not going to be a pencil hole if I don't <laughs> try these ones out. All right, so everything is sharpened and ready to go. Let's get through the rest of these. This is the Tombow HB, and that would be... This is the Mono 100. Okay, so I think this is this one. Oh, very nice. Uh, smooth, really a, a nice smooth pencil. And, uh, oh, that does not smudge very much. And this pencil is as dark and smooth as an HB, but with a slightly thinner line and better point retention. So this is something that, this is really nice too. Both of these pencils are really, really nice. Something that I noticed is that sometimes uh, the ones that are pre-sharpened, I don't know if you can if you can tell, especially right here, you can see like so much had to sharpen in order to get it sharpened. I don't know if it has to do with our electric sharpener or just the, the way that these ones are pre-sharpened, but I do know that sometimes we will really waste through a pencil, especially when the point dulls. Uh, possibly because of our sharpener and uh, and I just I like and I appreciate the ones that are going to keep a nice firm point longer especially when the kids are really into their lessons and it and and uh, it can be kind of a disruption for them to have to like stop and sharpen the pencil even though it's right there on the desk kind of appreciate the ones that are going to stay 
nice and sharp longer. Okay, Mono Smart, er, er, yeah, the eraser. This is a high quality uh, plastic in an ultra slim eraser. Easily sweeps away smears. Plus it fits perfectly into your pencil case or pocket. So let's go ahead and open that and test it out because um, we are in need of erasers. And for some reason, uh, oh, there was an, an easy way to open that and I didn't do it that way. Anywho, there is uh, a shortage of erasers in our homeschool right now. And, um, and we're down to just like fighting over the one eraser. Okay. This is really, really nice. Um, I don't think I care for the really slim eraser, but, uh, I don't think the kids will mind. So it's nice. It works well enough. And, uh, what's also nice about a slim eraser, which I didn't really notice or pay attention, but sometimes because we've had our pencils for so long because again we buy in bulk the eraser that comes on the t on the tip of the pencil over time it can become hard and then or it can just slowly harden and as it's doing that it doesn't erase very well anymore so uh, erasers do have a lifespan and when you're when they're new especially if you keep them enclosed rather than opening them up and, and exposing them to air and letting them dry out then they're going to stay nice and uh soft and erase well and so having a smaller eraser like this means that we can get through it uh, before it goes bad okay let's put these aside and try out the next set i'm going to keep them all together in the sets that they came with to begin with and uh and let the kids kind of explore these on their own and find the ones that they are really enjoying um, I want to show you these other two sets, but I actually want to show you the one pencil that my 13-year-old son loves so much that we ended up reordering them, and that is the, uh, this is the something Defender pencil, EE -E Defender pencil, and these ones were on sale at the time that I bought them, and so I don't know that they're still going to be available, and they were still, I think, $2 a pencil, so not cheap for a pencil, considering some of these other ones are only like, you know, pennies compared to the, for, to, compared to this one. Uh, what was kind of cool about this one is that it came with a nice little cap for it, and I think that my son really enjoyed the idea of like having a pencil that had, that you could cap cap it off and also protect the tip and you know take it with you and stuff okay so uh with without a pencil case <laughs> all right so let's go into the deep cuts sampler set and let's test these ones out okay so again it comes with the little paper that tells you all about them and let's just start with this gorgeous green one and it, this is the mitsubishi HB. So let's say 900. Okay, I believe that's this one. And it's made in Japan. This is an all purpose dark HB. Um, has a sleek, bright green finish for reliable everyday writing style. I have to say, like, I'm all about like this natural finish for the pencils, but this green is just glorious. Oh, and it's nice too. Uh, at this point, a lot of them are fairly similar as far as because of the ones that I've chosen, uh, in the sense that they have a nice dark finish and they are very smooth. And so this one does not disappoint either. And that green, that is just glorious. Okay. This is for high precision drafting, which we aren't going to be doing. Uh, and this is, uh, Tajima, maybe? And this is a carpenter pencil designed by a construction company for precision. This extra firm pencil has converted many users to the H side with, with its smooth line and beautiful gold dip. All right, let's see. I'm, I'm guessing this is a bit of a harder pencil. And it really is, but boy, is it really nice. Did I, did I write the right one? Write it on the right. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> That's actually really, really, really nice. And I'm actually pleasantly surprised for a, a harder pencil that it's smooth and it has a nice dark, um, it, it's dark and it's also really pretty. <laughs> yeah. This is really nice. Okay. Let's go to this one and 
I think it's this one here. Yeah. Uh, Karan, Karan Dash's first drawing pencil has excellent point retention and a lovely design. We especially love this. We especially love the fish. Ah, oh, that's super cute. It was originally released in the 1920s and it's made in Switzerland. Wow, that's really nice. Oh, that's actually surprisingly nice. I just really don't like the color. <laughs> I think I've seen enough school pencils where I'm just kind of done with that. But, you know, the kids probably aren't going to care so much. And it's nice to have a variety of colors, even though I'm all for that natural finish. This one's really nice because it's dark and has a nice hard point And, yeah, it doesn't smudge that much. Okay, the Palomino. This is Forced Choice. And this is the world's first FSC certified pencil is filled with an excellent graphite core. I don't know what that means. Hmm. Maybe for forest conservation? I don't know. Um, it's a modern school classic and a natural alternative to the standard yellow number two. Yeah, this really is. This might have to be like our go-to pencil, especially because it also comes with an eraser. Let's test out the eraser. Oh, I'm not crazy about the eraser, but that's, it's, um, it's totally functional. Uh, General's Carbo Weld Scribe. This pencil is made in Jersey City, contains a crisp graphite core, and bears lovely retro script. Yes, it does. And it's made in the U.S. Um, in, eh, I don't actually like it. <laughs> it's, uh, it just doesn't, I just don't like, it doesn't feel good when you write. Um, anyway, let's move on to Tombow. This is a balanced graphite. Uh, the balanced graphite in this pencil is dark, but keeps a point. The R stands for regular. But I see a, oh, mono RB, okay. Oh my goodness, this one is super nice. Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun for any kind of sketching that the kids... <gasps> Check that out! Hardly any smudging. That is impressive. Wow, I really like this one. Okay, let's put these aside and check out the last set before I show you the individual pencils that we got. I think the rest are in. Actually, I take it back. Some of them might have been sets, but these sampler sets are specially assembled um, probably by the CW Pencil Enterprise team uh, for you to sample these different kinds of pencils before buying, you know, maybe a whole set. Okay, this one I'm super curious about because as I was sharpening these pencils, uh, they're all like in these different colors. Let me find out what they're all used for. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you, actually, is this one here. This one I had to sharpen quite a bit, and I, I finally just stopped because I was just going through the whole pencil. And I believe that the core was maybe cracked, or I don't know if it has to do with the quality of the pencil, or maybe uh, some at some point in the shipping process, it got damaged. But I just wanted to point that out, so I didn't want to continue sharpening it. Okay, this is the Tombow uh, High Quality Vermilion and Prussian Blue Pencil. This is the... Uh, 8900. Okay, so this is, and this one's made in Vietnam. With rich vermilion on one end and bright blue on the other, this pencil is all you need for marking up drafts or color coding lists. Oh, it's, it's, it's okay. I don't care for the vermilion, but the blue is really beautiful. And I have to say, this is, this isn't something that we, this is probably not something that we will go too often. But uh, I think it's it's really great for uh, self-correcting. Well, I should just say when when my students are doing their work, the the first time they uh, w before I proofread or correct their work, I ask them to to go through it first. And usually they just use a pencil. But I I would be curious t for them to use. And there are differences of opinion on whether you want to actually mark it up in red. But I I think that there might be. Uh, some value and being able to mark it up in red first and just kind of correct your mistakes before I go at it and then maybe I can go at it with the blue and 
you know, it's just an idea. All right, so I do believe um, we got this one last time. This is the editor, and my kids love this one, my 13-year-old especially. And let's go ahead and try this one out again. This is... Mm, no. Oh, here we go. This is the editor. So it is... Is it made by... So it's by CW Pencil Enterprise. I'm the editor, but it's made by Karan Dash. And I think this is an original to the CW Pencil Enterprise. I, that is super cool. I have to say that I'm not super crazy about the pencil itself, but I think that it is, it, it's great for its purpose. And then the red, the red is, is good enough also. I find that it, it's must, I don't know if it's a thicker core, probably not, but I don't feel like it holds its, uh, its, uh, tip as much or its point as much. But, uh, I haven't actually used this one extensively enough to really be able to, to say like, oh, I, I totally love it or I totally hate it. I just really love the, uh, ingenuity of this kind of a pencil. Okay. Let's move on to, um, this is the Musgrave Hermitage Thin Red. Smooth red pencil can be used for writing or doodling and erases remarkably well for a colored pencil. So again, you could use this one for correcting any kind of mistakes. Uh, again, I'm thinking like in the school uh, setting, like because these are purchased for our, our homeschool. So that, and, and it does erase like pretty good for a colored pencil. Not my favorite as far as color pencils go, but definitely a smart pencil for editing, especially because it comes with the eraser. Okay, we have the Kohinoor Dry Marker. Ooh, oh, this is super cool. Um, the I think this is, wait, is it? No, Kohinoor. There we go. Adds pop of color with this slim, bright highlighter. It's neon pink and won't dry out. So smart. Let's see if it... That's cool. That's kind of neat. That is really, really neat. So you can highlight with a color pencil. So smart. It won't bleed through to the other side the way a highlighter might. Uh, and um, I have to say that I don't like the <laughs> pink color. I, I do prefer my highlighters uh, yellow. I guess I'm just traditional that way. So let's try out this one. This one is the Milan graphite highlighter combo. The firm graphite end stays sharp for note taking. Wow, check that out. This is a triangular barrel and most of the other ones that we have purchased are hexagon or in this case, just completely uh, circular or, you know, um, just round. Uh, like a cylinder <laughs> and these ones are all hexagon shaped this one is triangular shaped I actually do like the triangular shaped pencils especially for beginner writers you know the really young students and I prefer like a larger barrel and so this is kind of cool it, it, it feels really good it sits really well so let's try out the pencil part okay that's um it's acceptable like it's not like my go-to hardness for a pencil but the highlighter I'm really excited about. So let's see. Oh, that's subtle. I think that's subtle considering um, what you would get from like a normal highlighter. But I think that it's enough to grab your attention. Although the pink does stand out quite a bit more. And you do have to go over it a few times. I guess it's fine if you're doing like small sections. But if you're doing like a lot, then I find like the markers to be a little bit more suitable. Okay, let's try the last one. This is an ultra thick or the this <laughs> the thick ultra pigmented core of this jumbo pencil makes it ideal for block highlighting and bright doodles. Okay, that's kind of cool because that means oh, that is super easy to use. Oh, I really, really like this one, even though I'm not crazy about the green. This is fantastic. This does make it a lot easier to highlight. Oh, well, that green is also really pretty anyway. It's just, I like the yellow, but boy, that green is really growing on me. Okay, so uh, 
that was new to me what these pencils all do and my children actually don't use any kind of highlighters at all in all the years of schooling even the two that have since graduated from our home school uh, and so I am eager to see how these will we work into um, with the pencils that they currently use okay by the way it comes in like the, the the rest of the sets come in these really beautiful red envelopes it's just so fancy okay these are the ones that we bought just actually i'm just going to use the back side of this to test them out these are the ones that we bought uh, like a single single pencils not by the set and then we just bought m multiples of them so again i'm looking for the perfect homeschool pencil and this and i do like the natural uh, barrels and this is hexagon shape and this is usa general's cedar point and let's um hold on actually let me just sharpen that just a little bit more Okay, that's really, really, really nice. Let's check out the eraser. Um, yeah, the eraser is okay, I guess. Uh, it's great that it's already there. Um, yeah, it's like, it's not wowing me, but it's, um, I have nothing negative to say about it. Okay, this one is the Musgrave pencil. This is six, the, it's made in the USA. It's 600 and it's for, it says news on it. Wow, that is so smooth and lovely and dark. Wow, I love that. And yep, it does smudge like a lot, which will be really cool for, uh, for my daughter when she's doing sketches. I think this will be, well, maybe not. I'm wondering if she would enjoy this for filling in areas, but I don't know. We'll find out. I did buy four of those. And then we have the, um, Apsara Absolute Extra Strong Extra Dark. Super cool. And it's a really beautiful pencil. That's really nice. Oops. Yeah, I actually really like this one a lot too. Boy, there are a lot that I really like. <laughs> um, and it's also a really beautiful pencil with the gray and the blue. Okay, so let's move on to this set here. I previously showed you this one, but let me pull out these ones here. This is the test scoring pencil and this is also by uh, Musgrave Pencil Company and it's in I think Shelbyville, Tennessee. And I do believe that that we are reordering these. I, I'm pretty sure this is one that we got in a sample set that we really liked and it, it has a really great firm um, dark uh, pencil and then it does come with the eraser. Uh, I'm not crazy about the eraser to be honest actually. I'm not crazy about it at all. But we did, I did like the pencil itself and so this is, I am reordering this. I do believe that is from our previous haul, but I could be mistaken. <laughs> okay, let's check these ones out. I did buy that same eraser. <clears throat> I, I must have not been paying attention that it also came with the set. Okay, so this I believe uh, are all these the same? I thought these were different. Hold on a second. It is, um, slightly difficult to read. Um, you know what? I totally can't remember. These are really nice. I thought these were all different, but they might not be. They might all be the same. And I apologize. Oh, yeah. So one is uh, number two. That was a number two. So they're, half of them are number two pencils and half of them are this one here. So let me just put those aside. So I must have gotten four of each. So this is the number two. Oh, that's really, really, really nice for a number two. And it's also a really gorgeous pencil. And this one says one and it says s no they both say s and 138 so i can't remember oh they're very similar actually hold on yeah they're really similar i don't know whether they're the same one i mean they do no one's a goldfish 
autocrat and then the other one is not so they actually write really similar to me i'm i'm not such a pencil connoisseur that i can tell you the subtle differences between those two. Oh, and i actually left one inside <laughs> all right let's move on to the last package um actually before i open the last package let me go ahead and just show you this one uh i showed you at the beginning of the video but i'm just gonna go ahead and, and write with this one. Oh, it's so nice and smooth it's a really beautiful pencil and yep it works like really well like a typical number two pencil i don't i don't know if it's a number two but i'm thinking it might be but i um don't know it's made in japan and it's a smooth japanese graphite it's made with california uh, cedar Oh, and you know what? Yep, the unique design and replaceable eraser. So that is an, uh, a replaceable eraser. I just did not buy any replacements for it. Okay, so the last set here. Let me show you pencils and erasers, I'm pretty sure. Okay, hold on. Oh, super cute. <laughs> Look at the way that they package them. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. I went ahead and got the white versus the typical um, orangey color. And okay, so they're not going to really fit easily over this larger pencil. I actually bought these for primarily our scented pencils that we got in our last haul, which are so, so nice. And um, your your power of, of smell is actually linked highly to your memory. And so I was telling the kids that when they're learning something new, maybe they can use those scented pencils and then it can help them retain that information. And then when they use them again, they can it can kind of spark that memory for them but those beautiful pencils didn't come with erasers and so I think this will be uh, a great addition to those pencils although it kind of will make them not look as nice but anyway and then I went ahead and I got these two uh, erasers these are black erasers and I just thought I would do something different for them and that way uh, they can each have one we'll probably put their name on them and this is PVC free phthalate uh free uh i don't think i pronounced that right latex free dust free paper gentle for all surfaces and it doesn't discolor um oh it's nice it's a little bit wobbly for my taste it's not that firm and for some of these darker pencils uh i'm finding it yeah actually i don't really like the eraser we'll see what the kids think it's kind of soft and kind of wobbly. And I'm not sure that it erases all that well, but it is gentle on the paper. Uh, my my favorite go-to eraser, oh, and quite a bit of it sheds. Yeah, actually, you know what? I really don't like this eraser. Um, my go-to eraser is the Tombow eraser, not not this one that we got. This one probably works will work better than this one, but it's the one that has a little bit of sand in it. It's great for erasing color pencils, and and I've loved it so much because it erases so well, but it does damage the paper, and I hadn't noticed that until we started doing some art projects for our geometry unit using that eraser on the paper. So finding something that had that's soft and gentle on the paper is is something that I have had in mind, but um, not crazy about this one. Okay. Um, oh, well, let's just try this one. Oh, I like this one quite a bit more. Oh, I actually like this one like a lot. <laughs> All right. Oh, I forgot to show you these pencils. These are Graphwood Karan Dash Swiss Made. This is an HB pencil. Oh, that's so nice. It's so nice and smooth. Let's see how it erases. Oh, that erases pretty well. And let's see if it smudges. Yeah, you know, a fair amount. Okay, I think that's everything. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to check out the blog post that accompanies this video where you can find more pictures and information. That link is down in the description box below. And if you want to keep up with what we're doing in our homeschool on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.